Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to United in Prayer with Christ Center. If we haven't had a chance to meet yet, my name is Tim, and I'm so glad to be joining you today. You know, one of the things that I love about this, that we're doing it live, that we're doing it Monday through Friday, every morning at 8 a.m., is that you can join from anywhere. Like right now, I'm in my car, and I knew that I had to lead this moment, but it's fun that we can be connected in prayer, that we can be together even though we might be far apart. So here we are, we're gonna spend some time praying together and today our meditation, kind of what's going to center our hearts is from Psalm 1. Now a little bit about Psalm 1. I've known this Psalm for a really long time because when I was a kid, uh, my parents would pay us for certain things. I don't know if when you were a kid, your parents would pay you for certain chores, your parents would pay you money for certain things like Maybe just sit still and be quiet when you're not supposed to be running around. Probably not. But my parents used to pay me money to memorize scripture. Yeah, that's right. And the first thing that I ever memorized for money was Psalm chapter 1. I think my dad gave me $1. So if you're a parent and you've got kids, you know, you're going to put your money somewhere. It's not a bad investment. I still remember this psalm. Psalm 1 says this, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night, and he shall be like a tree that's planted by rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in season. Its leaf will not wither, and whatever he does will prosper. The ungodly are not so, they are like the chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly will not stand in the counsel of the righteous, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. See, look at that. I memorized that scripture when I was like, I want to say nine or 10, and I'm 38. So a worthy investment if you want to invest in your kid's future, pay them to memorize scripture. No, but what I want to hone in on today is just this idea of man, I want to be like that kind of person. I want to be the kind of person that's like a tree planted by rivers of water that has all that it needs, that bears fruit in the right season, uh, whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers, is what the Bible says. And who are those kinds of people? Well, they're people who meditate on God's word, on his law, and who delight in his law. And those are two different words. To delight in God's law means that when you encounter the person of God in Scripture, you see it in the principles of Scripture, it it resonates with you. You delight in it because he's so good and you see his goodness. But to meditate on his law, that takes work. That takes discipline. That's something that you do proactively. And so my encouragement to you, I think one of the biggest things that you could do, obviously I talked about paying your kids to memorize scripture, but one of the best things you could do, I really believe this, is to make a habit, a discipline of memorizing scripture as you spend time with God. There will be times where I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll have anxious thoughts or be sleepless about something that's going on. And I have memorized enough scripture that what I'll do now is I'll just start playing those tapes of scripture in my mind and it brings my heart to a place where I can rest, relax, recenter, but I also learn more about God in those moments when I could be spinning anxiously about something else. So we want to be people uh, who meditate on God's law, who delight in him as we seek to follow him, uh, as we seek to be his disciples, his students, learners of Jesus. So we're going to pray today together, wherever you're at. I ask you to join me in prayer. And we're just going to ask God um, to inspire us toward meditating on who he is, on his law, day and night. So let's pray together. Would you pray with me? Jesus, wherever we are, we take a deep breath and we just recognize that you are right here with us. 
and it's in your word, it's in your law, it's in your precepts, it's in your principles, that we learn more about the kind of person that you are. And we want to be filling our minds and our hearts with you. And it's so easy to fill our minds and hearts with other things, with a constant stream of social media or Netflix shows, constant stream of anxious thoughts. God, we want to fill our minds and our hearts with you. And so right now, I just pray that you would speak to every single person that's praying with me. That you would bring to their heart and mind something they could do, a step they could take toward meditating on your law. Maybe it's just memorizing one scripture this week. Maybe it's printing something off and putting it on their dashboard so every time they drive, they can see it and reflect on your goodness. Maybe it's putting something on their refrigerator at home so they can be reminded of who you are. Whatever it is, God, we want to be the kind of people who delight in you and meditate on your law. Because we want to be the kind of people that flourish in this world as you designed us to do. So, Lord, help us to take action as you've spoken to us. We surrender our hearts and our lives to you, and we love you so much. In Jesus' name, thank you for this time. Amen. Amen. Hey, a couple things. <clears throat> this weekend, we're continuing our series in the book of John, so make sure and be there. Also, mark your calendars because March 28th is going to be a very important day. That is when we are having our team huddle. Uh, if you call Christ Center home, you want to come to this, okay? It's March 28th at noon at the new property. We're going to be gathering outside. We're going to have lunch provided for you by Captain's Cod, which is amazing. And we're going to have some big updates about our vision for the church in 2021. We're all going to be there. Don't miss it. March 28th, noon at the new property. Tell your family, tell your friends, bring them. We'll see you there. Have a great weekend.